So Cinemark has retrofitted a couple of their theaters in my area for, with uh, the, the new luxury loungers, they call them, luxury recliners. Basically, it's an entire movie theater of reserved seats, reserved um, barco loungers, uh, reserved sofa lounger chairs, lounging, reclining uh, big puffy chairs that you can sit your butt in and watch the movie. I I'm not a big fan of them, but to be honest, I'm not a big fan of these these types of chairs and movie theaters in general. To me, it doesn't feel like the movie theater experience. To me, the movie theater experience are little, you know, little crappy chairs, and you strap yourself in and, and you watch the movie. And some people are like, "Oh, it's as uncomfortable as a." As a uh, you know uh, an airline chair, so I don't think so. I think they're pretty com pretty comfortable. I mean, if you had certain medical conditions or certain issues, I think uh, these luxury loungers would be just right up your alley there for certain people, and not just overweight people, but just people who you know want to want to sit in a sit in this kind of chair. It's fine, you know. Uh, but to me, it seems weird. It's almost like uh, putting beds in movie theaters. And I think in Asia, there, there are some movie theaters that are starting to retrofit with, um, with beds. But it seems to me, um, it seems to me like that's, this, is, this is bad, that this is wrong, that, this is, uh, that there's something not right to this. The the um, the recliners are, are relatively they they seem sturdy. I mean they're brand new. They're brand new in these theaters. I mean they're only a few weeks old in the Cinemark that I was in. So you know they're still bright and shiny and clean. They seem relatively sturdy. Like they're going to hold up for a few years. I mean I think unless somebody uh, took a, a pocket knife to them and really tried to destroy them, I think they're going to they're going to stand up for a, a number of years of uh, usage. Uh, they relatively they look you know relatively good relatively durable um, they're they're recliners so they they don't recline all the way back they do recline a little back and they have the they have a little button that allows you to put up your your footrest to uh, to recline your your feet it still is weird to see an entire movie theater of these because for a while they were just in specific, you know, the Draft House, uh, the Alamo Draft House in Austin, Texas, they do have in one location downtown, the Ritz location, they have uh, recliners upstairs and balconies. But that, that those are, that's only um, eight, eight spaces, basically two recliners on either side. Um, so, but that's but the other chairs are just you know and the 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 balance of the Ritz are just standard uh, theater chairs. But this is an entire the, the Cinemark theaters these these screens are weird. They're like an entire they're an entire movie theater of these recliners, and it's just and it and it's weird. It just doesn't seem right. They they um they shut down these theaters. They renovated them. They're like under control, and they're renovating more of them. I think they'll eventually become. Uh, you know, probably 60 to 70 percent, you know, reserve seat. And, it, and it's nice because the reserve seats are only like, you know, matinees, $4, $5 to have a reserve seat for $4 or $5 and have it be a, a recliner is, is actually kind of a good deal. Um, but it, it's still, in my mind, is not right. It's not right. The big uh, killer for me uh, that these have is it's a it's a flaw that many movie theater seats have and this but something about the recliners the space that the recliners take up in the aisles it makes this flaw killer is that I wish to God that movie theater chairs would have you could have your own armrests. You're all. Have you noticed in movie theaters, you're always sharing the goddamn armrests with the person next to you. So somebody has to fight for the armrest. This one person has the armrest, or the other person has the armrest. You both can, or you're 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 like in here, or you're or you're here. And you're getting to people's other space. Why can't I would like a, a little wider movie theater row 
with, with the chairs kind of spread out and everybody have their own armrest. I mean, if you're right next to your, if, you know, your date or your whatever, your relative, and you want to stretch out a little bit, you could, you could do that if you have two armrests. If, you, if you're right next to a stranger and you want to be in your own armrest, you ne chairs need their own armrests. It, it really is a killer with these recliner chairs because if you notice in the pic the, the pictures always the pictures never show by the way you notice in the, the 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 marketing materials the pictures never show people two people sitting next to each other and the thing is if you sit next to someone I sat next to my my wife and I've sat next to my wife many 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 times in movie theaters we've never really had a, a big problem with armrests but with these chairs it's like the you it's it, it has this big fat armrest and you think okay a big fat armrest that that would fit even two people but it doesn't there's something about it where it just you're it's like you know I almost had to like wrap my arms around her arm and that to be comfortable because otherwise we were just our arms were just like bumping up together it was it was horrible it was a it was the worst experience that I've ever had the the recliner is not wide enough that you could okay you think okay I'll just ignore the armrest I'll put my arms down and the this wide recliner I'll just be able to have that no the the recliner is not wide enough to be able to put your arms down but it's but it's not but it's but the armrests are not wide enough to be able to share comfortably with someone without butting into them and causing uncomfortable things so now you're in this uncomfortable you know, airline seat position in a damn barco lounger. It's like ridiculous. It's absurd. So to me, that's the that, that that's the killer flaw with these. The armrest situation is worse than a regular movie chair. Um, it's the whole the the whole movie theater experience to me is damaged because it feels like you're in your living room or your bedroom and these you know it's just I don't think that's cool. And it's just, uh, and I sometimes I like the, the tiny, the tiny movie theater seats because it kind of keeps me attentive and keeps me, you know, I mean I'm not I don't go to movies to to, to fall asleep in, in my 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 chair like uh, like grandpa or something you know I want to I want to watch the movie I want to experience it in comfort, but I think you could get a lot more comfort by giving people their own armrest so that okay we settle in it's a chair. It's a regular chair. We can sit. We can have our rest our uh, elbows out a little bit and not and not have to feel like we're confined in this little space. Because that's the suckiest things about these about these uh, chairs is that you feel like you're you're confined. Maybe, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe I'm not getting used to, to to sitting in these. Maybe if I if I sat in these a little more, I would uh, kind of find a better position. But I, I I don't immediately think so. I think uh, I think that's a, a killer flaw with these, but it, it's it's you know it's the it's the usual stuff. You know they're trying to they're trying to have amenities. They're trying to put the Barco loungers in because they're trying to uh, they're trying to compete with the Alamo Draft House and the people who are doing dinner theaters and this kind of new wave of uh, kind of high end movie theaters that's uh, that's sweeping across the uh, movie exhibitor world at this point and um, I think I don't think I don't think these movie theaters understand what the Alamo Draft House is about what's driving it which is not which is not food it's an overall experience it's this overall pop culture experience uh, that the, the the major movie theater chains like Cinemark, you could just you go into these movie theaters and you f and you f just feel like the furnishing, the pictures, everything has been chosen by someone who really doesn't like movies, who really doesn't watch movies, who really doesn't understand, you know, what were the favorite movies of someone in the early '80s, you know, uh, they just the taste, sensibilities, taste. You know, uh, Draft House gives you, uh, it's a whole experience. It's like a, a little, it's like a, a theme. It's like going to a, a, an amusement park or a theme park or a theme bar or something like that. And what the Cinemarks of the world uh, do is they, they see that, oh, oh, we'll give them, we'll give them loungers, you know. The reserve scene, though, is good. Uh, in the areas where I live in, in the North Austin area, it's it's getting to become 
that um, basically reserve seats are, are kind of a uh, um, requirement because it's just the, the volume of people that want to go see movies is not fun anymore. It's not fun when, you know, like uh, a Sunday 11 a.m. show, you have people, uh, you know, uh, queuing out of the, of the, of the doors, you know, uh, wrapped around the, uh, wrapped around the movie theaters. It's not quite that yet, but it kind of is sometimes. So to have a reserved seat and to be able to show up just a little bit, though, though we did have a problem in the, <laughs> in the showing that somebody showed up for the wrong showing and they were like, well, my seat's already been taken, but they'd shown up for the wrong showing. So I, you know, uh, people are people are not people are not used to reserve seats, um, and maybe some smaller markets they don't need reserve seats. But in the Austin area and some of the greater metro areas around the uh, United States, uh, reserve seats are unfortunately going to become uh, the the um, the rule, the the norm. So, uh, yeah, luxury recliners. Uh, I'm not a fan of them in in general, and I think the the whole I I, I think some movie theaters who are clued in. And in the draft house as well, I think they should they should look at the armrest situation. I think they should look at in some draft house movie theaters the the chairs are a little then they have their own armrests. And as much as I don't like their like their um, the situation with their tables, uh, which look like little school tables, I do like the fact that I believe and I believe they do have their own armrests. So I think they're really way ahead of the game there, that you get your own armrest, and you're able to kind of stretch your body out, which I think is one of the most important things to be comfortable, because I hate, I hate doing this. You know, I'd rather be in a, in a tiny, regular chair and be able to stretch my body out than be in a, recli in a luxury recliner. And, and I've got to do, th what, what is this? What is this in a, in a, in a barco lounger? That's, that's absurd. 